welcome to Naman Elementary. I'm happy to show you our early childhood classes. So this is our early childhood community, which consists of two pre-K classes, an ELE class, and two ESLE classes. We just wanted to really provide an authentic area for the kids to play because um, it the interactions that they have with the children from the other class, like our children who have already qualified with special needs, um, they get to come out here and play with the rest of their friends and the engagement and the language that they use and the social play. This has really upped our game, I would say. It really has. I got some um, to play. Oh, is this mine? Oh, this is my tea, thank you. And then what do we got here? This is the. Oh, it looks delicious. I love that so. y'all, how you utilize the space, because I feel like a lot of these campuses that are like this, the space is not utilized and y'all found ways to work with your early childhood community with all the different sensory stations like yes. that We're, you can't replicate in the classroom. Kids love to play with rocks and we wanted to give them a productive, open-ended yes. way to play with them rather than let's just throw? run around and throw rocks. Exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> We had a committee that really wanted to put together a space where our kids could come be creative. Yes, yes. So did you create that design? Yes. Awesome. They get to do what they want. Yeah. I love it. That imaginative play that we love to see with kids and tying it to what they're learning. So the students are working on fractured fairy tales. So we did a whole Cinderella unit. And so we listened to a bunch of different Cinderella's and then we created our own Cinderella story. And so now we're making our castles to match our Cinderella story. So we actually researched castles. We learned about castles, what materials make good castles. What materials make good castles? Hannah, do you have an idea? Concrete. What book did we read that made a really not so good castle? <laughs> Bloom, and it was a glass castle. So we thought about what castles can we make that are strong? Too. Are they maybe like your towers? Yes. And I think that our school has great spaces for um, doing makerspace activities. The library is one space and here's one space. And it, it is a wonderful opportunity for the kids to work together and problem solve. And I always tell them those are two skills they're going to need their whole life, working together and problem solving. Can you tell me what you're working on right now? Uh, we're working on making our bridges right now. Okay, tell me about your bridges. It's like we're making a bridge out of like toothpicks and glue and things. So we have a bridge project that takes pretty much every math teak and ties it into one. They're doing some measuring right now and they have a lot of financial literacy where they have to spend money and they have a checking account and they have a credit card and all that and they have to keep up with all that and all of that comes together into one final project where they build a bridge out of toothpicks and they usually hold 50, 60 dictionaries. They can hold a lot. So it's impressive what they can do with this, some glue and toothpicks. This is the exact measurements and what it's going to look like on the side of it. And then we have the top perspective. And this is what it's going to look like if you're flying over it. This is what it's going to look like under it. Okay, what's your budget? One last question. Uh, our budget is one million two hundred thousand five hundred and thirty-seven. Okay. That's very specific number. Oh wait, no, 337. <laughs> Three hundred thirty-seven. Wasn't it? Oh yeah, because we lost two hundred. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that was it. <laughs> Why did y'all pick this bridge? Um, because it's like it's not so pricey that like you can't afford it. But it's still strong. Yes. Ah, so. very good. Mm -hmm.